They said, we've only, we've only changed one thing. And I said, what's that? They said, we've written Basil out. I know. But I can imagine during that writing process, it was just non-stop laughs. Yes, we did laugh a lot. We used to think of the next thing that happened to Basil that was so awful, and we'd roar with laughter, and then we'd suddenly have a sort of ache. We'd think, oh, poor man. <laughs> we were like gods, giving him a terrible day. But let's put him through it anyway. Let's put him through it anyway, because it's funny. So what's made Faulty Tower, I mean, in your opinion, we've all got our own opinion on this, but in your opinion, what's made Faulty Tower stand the test of time? Because we spent six weeks in every episode. It's as simple as that. You see, the executives in television have very, very little idea of what they're doing. Most of them have no idea. I mean, the funniest I ever had was some Americans who bought the rights for Faulty Towers. And I said, well, can I help? They said, no, no, we're absolutely fine. I said, are Americans going to understand a family hotel when they're all used to staying in these big chains? And he said, no. I've never <laughs> heard this story before. No. <laughs> and it's absolutely true. And how long did that last I couldn't. I, I was absolutely gobsmacked. It was, it was terrible. They took, took all his lines and gave them to B. Arthur, who was playing Sybil. I mean, it was, that's what you have to deal with the whole time. I, I had a meeting with Disney not too long ago about a very good uh, adaptation that I'd done with a friend of mine called Coke D'Amico, and we'd done one of the Roald Dahl stories. And she asked for a number of changes... Um, and I and she, I said, I don't think I can do that. And she said, well, why? And I said, because I'd be making it worse. And my, my instinct is to try and make it better. And I think you need to hire someone who'll make it worse. <laughs> I'm a bit cheeky sometimes. But they have no idea what they're doing. But the trouble is... They, they don't know that they don't know what they're doing, you see, which is what gives them confidence and enables them to say people aren't interested in history anymore. <laughs> I mean, six weeks of writing, that's why it's just etched in people's memories. And, well, there's so many great lines on And there. people still... I love that people still quote it. I love that if we go to a, a, a dodgy bed and breakfast or a dodgy <laughs> yes, hotel, right. the first thing we'll say is, it's a bit faulty towers. <laughs> that's right. You know, and, and, and it, most of them are, because I stay in hotels most of the time. Really? And uh, very few of them, even the four or five star that I get put in by promoters, uh, you'd be surprised at how poor they are. This is gold.